there's a lot leading up to this, uh, whether we're talking about Nancy Pelosi's trip to Taiwan back in August, which, which really you know, perked the ears of officials in Washington and Tokyo, or just uh, Tokyo's newest national security strategy, which, uh, uh, which labels Taiwan not just as a precious friend, but a very important partner. There's, there's a lot of interest in the peace and security uh, around Taiwan right now, both in Washington and Tokyo. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the sort of unprecedented things we saw from Japan's most recent national security strategy was that uh, it, it, it notes that, you know, the peace and stability around Taiwan isn't just a matter for uh, Tokyo. It isn't just a matter for Washington, but it's an international uh, effort. It's an international concern. And so one of the things we've seen from Japanese officials in the past, whether it's at, uh, for example, the G7 summits or the G20 or... Uh, uh, other international meanings is to is the emphasis to include uh, this sentence in these official documents that they are really really concerned about the peace and security uh, around Taiwan. Is this because of China's um, increased aggression towards Taiwan, or is it because of Japan's sense of immediate threat from China and its military buildup in the Pacific? I would say those two are connected. <laughs> uh, there's certainly a concern that China is the, I think the U.S. calls it their pacing threat. Um, it's it's the newest, it's the biggest, it's the, it's the most uh, uh, broad. It, it's not just a military threat, it's an economic threat, it's a social uh, threat. You know, there's, there's all means that the Chinese authorities are using to threaten uh, the democracy of the West or uh, the capitalism of the West. And so uh, there's all sorts of concerns. One of the things that the national security strategy of Japan actually notes is that China is the, they call China the uh, most uh, challenging threat to Japan since the end of World War II, which is pretty extreme language if you think about it. Um, and uh, for the United States, they are also concerned, of course, about the military buildup and um, you know, these these events that we've seen over the last year or several years, whether it's military exercises, whether it's the reaction to Nancy Pelosi's trip to Taiwan, it's all kind of uh, accumulating. It, it's growing on top of one another. And so uh, there's real concern in Tokyo that China may continue down this road of belligerence, that it could continue to threaten the security of not just Taiwan, but of Japan as well. With the concern of Tokyo, do you feel there will be increased cooperation between Taiwan, the U.S., and Japan in terms of collectively deterring China from doing anything that's drastic in the Taiwan Strait or even to Japan? The uh, efforts by uh, Tokyo right now are really something to admire, I, I think. They are really stepping it up uh, to not just enhance their own defense and deterrence capabilities, but to work with new partners uh, on this, uh, particularly the United States, given that the U.S.-Japan alliance that's been around for decades is really one of the, uh, I think, linchpin of security in the in the Indo-Pacific. And uh, the Japanese, uh, the Kishida administration, actually, to hurt their political rating, actually, has said that they're going to take a more uh, aggressive defense stand, is that they're going to start investing more in counter-strike capabilities. They're going to buy American Tomahawks missiles, uh, to be able to strike uh, those who are attacking Japan and elsewhere. elsewhere, And so uh, this has really actually upset many in Japan. Um, you know, Japan has traditionally been a pacifist country that felt that it, it should denounce war by any means, whether it's uh, even through defense. And so, um, you know, I don't necessarily uh, agree. I think Japan's new efforts are welcome. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad to see that there's going to be a lot more bilateral cooperation between the United States and Japan. And then within that, I think there will be talks about how to uh, work with other partners, work with Taiwan, um, work with South Korea and, and others to kind of build, continue to build and invest in these deterrent capabilities.